this is how I set up my camera for easy navigation in Blender. There's obviously all different ways of moving your camera, camera around, but this is the way I find uh, the easiest. So the first thing I'll do is I delete my cube, hit delete. And the next thing I'll do is I select my camera and then I'll pan over to this a little icon here, click on it, and then I click down here, press zero, return, zero, return, zero, return. And then I move down to my rotations, zero, return. And then the final one, zero, return, zero, return. Okay, your camera should now look like this. The next thing you do is you go add empty cube. You then move your cube down on this blue axis. Move it down to about here. It doesn't matter where you put it, but I, I just find it just a, just a half decent. That'll do. Right, okay. The next thing I'll do is just click on the camera and then I lock the location, lock the um, all the location, then I lock all the rotations. So it should look like this now. And then the next thing I do is I press shift and then I click my cube. And then what I then do is I go object and then I go parents. And then you, and basically I'm making the um, camera a child object of the cube. So no matter where the cube goes, the camera would always look at it. You can obviously use the hotkey if you want, but I just thought I'd show you how to do it if you're a new user's blender and you're not familiar with all the hotkeys. So you just got object and then object keep transform. And then that little um, extra icon will appear just showing that it's, it's located, it's connected. Okay. The next thing I'll do is I'm gonna show you how the scene would look. So if I add a Susanna object, so I've got add mesh monkey, and then I click on um, the cube, and then I move it up. And then if I go to animation, so this is the camera view in my animation uh, view. So anything comes to render, this is what it would look like. So then if I now rotate the cube, That's the view. And obviously you can move in and out. You can also uh, zoom in and out just by um, clicking on the camera now. And you can rotate. So if we positioned and then rotate it. And we can do our, our movements so this is I hope you uh, this this tutorial has been of some use it's a very quick one I just find this is the easiest and the best way for me to navigate with my cameras all right guys I'm out bye